hi bestie welcome back to another episode on how to cut and sew so this tutorial is going to be on how to cut this particular tie is of two layers it has um, an half cord it also has a flay damper to make a dress i can see the overlap flay sleeve as well you can see how beautiful this is so without wasting much of your time let's go to the cutting section here are the fabrics i'm going to use this is my stay this is the facing i'm using this is the main fabric you can see the brocade i'm using two and a half yard of this brocade fabric to cut out the style the first thing i'm going to cut out here is the flay the damp part of the dress before the half cut so i'll be folding this out now i'll be folding it uh, like a triangle then i'm going to cut it out this is into two first as you can see and uh, I'll be folding it into four, like a triangle. So this is the foldings. You can see it now. You can see how it is. You can see the angle now. You can see it's just like a triangle. So the first thing I'm going to take here is the uh, length. I'll be determining my length first. So the length is going to give me the um, the radius of this circle now so i'll take that from the from the uh from the other side of the flay like hair from this particular side i'm taking it this is 26 inches because the full length is 42 inches with the same allowance so the half cut is 16. this down one is going to be um 26 inches so since i've gotten that one, i want to get my radius yes i can get my radius here this is 9.9.9 .9 inches so i'll be taking that around 9.9 .9 inches because the main waist measurement for this tie is 29 inches but since i i need um some inches for the pleats i want uh, i want my flat to have a pleat then i'll be making the radius to be excess i won't take the exact um 29 inches so let me take the runners now let me see what i could get yeah this is um 8.5 inches 8.5 inches that is um it's that is 34 inches 8.5 inches 34 inches so and since i needed on um, 29 inches so the remaining excess i'm going to use to make a pleat around the waist so i cannot take my 26 inches one now 26 inches 26 inches i'll be taking that round. so after taking the 26 inches round then I'll not connect all the lines together. I'll connect everything together. So it's going to be a circle. It's going to give us a round shape. So after that, I can now cut it out. Cutting my radius first, because I'll be cutting out the radius first. After cutting the radius, then I'll now go ahead and cut out the full length of the flake. You can see it now. So by the time I'm done with this, the next thing to do here is the half cut. Now I'm done with my cuttings, cuttings, cuttings. So the next thing here is to cut out the half cut, but I'm still going to cut out a facing for this particular flay. This is what I'm going to use for the half cut. This is 17 inches length with the same allowance. No, the actual length of our half cut here is should be 16 inches, but with a same allowance of one inch that makes it um 17 inches so i will not be folding my half cut now in such a way that it's going to have a zip allowance at the back so you can see this is into two now this is into four so i'm going to trim out the excess that's some excess at the zipper area so i want to trim it to make it straight so this is into four now so after trimming this the next thing i'm going to take now is the um shoulder measurement shoulder measurement so i will now go ahead now and take my measurement properly the shoulder measurement here is going to be 7.5 inches you can see this is my 7.5 inches then i'm going to track it out the next thing i'm going to take is the shoulder slant of one inch the shoulder slant of one inch then i'm going to connect it slantly to the center of both back and front like this then the next thing here is to take my ammo measurement of 7.5 inches as well. Ammo measurement of 7.5 inches. Here is it. Then since we know our length, our full length is uh, 17. 
inches that's with the same allowance then i'll be taking my bust measurement from the bust line the bust here is going to be 35 36 inches that is nine in four places it's going to give us 36 inches with the same allowance of two inches then i'll come to the waistline and take my waist measurement to be um 30 inches that is uh, 7.5 in four places is going to give us 30 inches the same allowance of two inches as well you can see that i'm going to connect it yeah then I'm connecting it up. You can see, I cannot go ahead now and cut it out. Yes, I'm done with the cuttings now, you can see. So the next thing here is to cut out my princess that because this particular um dress it has a princess coat so i'll be determining my breast point to be 9.5 inches is a breast point the distance of the two bust is 7 inches that's 3.5 inches and here is it i'll now come to the ammo line here the ammo line and take um 3.5 inches from up 3.5 inches then from that 3.5 inches i'll connect it coughly like to the the stand of the two balls like this you can see you can see the way i connect it then at this damp part i'm going to take the same uh, that measurement which is 3.5 inches then i'm going to connect it down so this is how it's going to be then the actual waist measurement is 28 inches i added two inches to it just to give me um 30 inches because i'm still going to deduct my two inches back from the from the uh, waist so this is the two inches i want to deduct back now this is minus two inches then i'm going to slant it up to the breast point like this like this you can see then i will now cut it out so it won't affect my measurement because the actual main measurement for this now um, is 28 inches so i've already added these two inches to it before now and then i'm deducting it back then it has allowance of two inches as well so i'm in the silver side so if you are cutting this like this make sure you had uh, some inches to your waist measurement so by the time you deduct it back you will be on the silver side so let me now cut it now and see how it's going to be so this is after the cutting then i'll now cut it through to the um to the ammo so i'm going to divide the ammo like this you can see so and at the back don't forget the two inches also is at the back so i'm still going to deduct it i'm going to remove the two inches now so that both the back and the front are going to be equal so i'll remove the two inches back now as you can see this is minus two inches then i'm going to slant the shape to the area so you can see it now so they will not be equal after when i join it finish you can see that's what we have now you can see it now so the next thing here is to um cut out the facings so you can see the front you can see the two sides of the front so this is how i'm going to join it back you can see the two sides of the front so i will now go ahead now and cut my facings facing for the for this but before i can cut out the neckline i have to make a i have to uh, uh, i have to hire my gum state to the front and to the back first before i could able to cut out the neckline so you can see now and after putting my gum state i will now add my my facing I'm going to cut the facing exactly the way I cut the half cut and the flay too. Don't forget. So I'm going to turn everything now and show it to you. So this is what I'm using to cut out the sleeve because the sleeve here is not the sleeve that my clients want. The sleeve, as far as that my clients work, we've already done the class earlier. So I'm going to put the link under the description of this video. So, but this particular sleeve that is on this dress, I want to cut it out for you. So you can see the way I'm cutting it. The first thing I did is the length of the sleeve. The second one is the 
ammo light that's six inches from the upper part there then i'll now cough it to that six inches you can see the way i cough it to that six inches then after that and i'm going to make the length a straight line like this after that i will now uh, connect it from the hammer slantly like this but just make sure the wideness of the of the sleeve is the wideness of the of what you needed so this is 10 inches so it's okay for me and the length of that cuff coming from the upper part of the sleeve to the six inches how cuff it is is going to make uh, how full the plate is going to be at the shoulder then after this now i'm going to slant it up by taking uh, up to two inches from here you can see two inches from this particular area i'm taking two inches then from that two inches i'm going to slant it up like this just like a like s you can see like s so you can see now this is how you are going to connect it together you can see so i'm still going to do this particular sleeve on its own it's going to have its own tutorial a full tutorial on this so that's why you just have to subscribe to my channel so that when I do this particular sleeve, you're going to see it properly. You can see the way I'm cutting it. By the time I cut it out, you're going to see the shape of the sleeve now. So that is the, this is the area we are attaching to the ammo. You can see now. So this is how it's going to open. And at this point, the this point, you're going to pleat it to the shoulder. So it's going to give you that shape of the sleeve. So you can see now. You can see it now. So no that this particular area I'm going to trim it out. No, I slant it to that to that part. So this that area is not there so i'm going to trim it out for you to see the shape properly now so this is how the shape is going to be yes yes this is the length of the sleeve this is the area we're attaching to the ammo and we're going to make a plate with this so we, if you are placing this on the fabric you're going to cut it on the fabric cut your facing hide your gum stay or any art stay just to make it stand the way it stays on the thumbnail now this is my facing this is the flay you can see just make sure the length of your flay is not up to the length of the main fabric you can reduce it with just one inch so for, just for it to draw it up so that the facing will not be showing so this is after adding a gum stay to it you can see i've added my gum stay to this now i'm going to cut out the neckline so i'm taking 3.5 inches wideness of the shoulder then i'm going to take the length of the length at which the neckline is going to end it's ending at um, seven inches you can see the point the next thing is to take the deepness of four inches you can see so i'm going to slant it four inches this is my four inches and you can see it's not straight i slanted it you can see to four inches so after this i'm going to come in with two inches two inches like this to the point of two inches this is my two inches point you can see then from that two inches i'm going to slant it to give me that fish shape at the center then from that point to the full length of the neckline of seven inches you can see now so this is how we hand it so i will now cut it out now now let's open it this is how the shape is can see how the shape turns out can see how beautiful this is and i've already cut out my facing so i will now go ahead now and turn it with my facings both the back and the front so i'm going to cut out the back neckline now now here is the back you can see the same 3.5 inches for the wideness of the shoulder that's what i'm going to take here this is not constant it depends on how wide or how tiny you want your shoulder to be so you can take any 
measurement of your choice there. Just, just dot some inches from the from the shoulder. So this is 3.5 inches. Then the deepness is what I'm going to take next now. The deepness now is going to be um seven inches at the back also. Then I'm going to connect it like this, you can see. Then I'll now cut it out. So you can see it's now this is my back now. You can see this is how the back is going to look like. You can see the round shape of the back. This now this is after turning it with the facing. You can see you can see the shape of the front neck line. You can see how it is. You can see how neat this is. This is the work of a stay. And this is the back. You can see our back also. So let me go and join the back to the front. Welcome back. Here the finished work so far. This is the dress we have been making since. You can see how beautiful this turns out. If you are watching for the first time, what are you waiting for? Just have subscribed to my channel for more amazing tutorial like this. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video always. See my next tutorial. Bye.